eight laps. Mitri sitting down on the inside. The 2XM car set to bring this field to life. The racer out of Redding, California. Young 14-year-old racer mixing it up out here at the Copper Classic. You got to love that. His first year behind the wheel of a sprint car. We'll see what he's got in store for us as we rev him up, cut him loose. Charge from the back of the field. And number 56, Sammy Swindell trying to slice through traffic like a hot knife through butter. He's got him four wide down to turn number one and two and onto the back straightaway up to the number four spot for the 56 car. I told you he was going to be looking for some redemption. He's not done. He'll dig down to the inside. Hello, goodbye. P3 for the number 56. Working it up through. You're racing her up front. Mitri to 2XM. Facinto's running second to 5H. Swindell's running third. And Sammy's a coming. He is making some hay up high down at turn number three and four and onto the front straightaway. 16A is Sanders rolled along fourth on the field. A gap back to a good battle taking place for fifth, sixth, and seventh as they're all tooth and nail out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. But watching Swindell and the 56 cars rambling along for all he's worth, and he is closing on Facinto in the 5H. Michael lies out ahead by about four car lengths. Swindell drops down about a half a car width to shorten up the racetrack. And here comes a charge down at turn number three and four. There's a lot of traction to be found. Unfortunately, that didn't work out so well. A little slip of the grip coming out of the corner. He gave up everything he gained on the back straightaway. Meanwhile, side by side across the straight is the number four car, Logan Calderwood. And Reese Getz are trying to decide some things. Look out, one up high. Hustle on through, or I'm sorry, Billy Chester back here, Rocky Silva as well. Top four cars on the back, shoot everybody else here on the front straightaway down into the corner, and here comes a slide job out of Getz. Getz able to pick up a spot out of turn number two and down the back straightaway, and your race leaders are closing with the white flag about to come out. Down the back, shoot, they come. Max Mitri, Michael Facinto, Sammy Swindell, one, two, three across, white flag, another third mile. We'll put this one into the books. And lap traffic's going to be a factor. Didn't see that one coming. So here comes the checkered flag. This time out of turn number four. We got two lap cars just ahead. They're going to get their time. Good battle for not last of the white flag for them, but checkered flag up front. Mitri's going to pick up the win. Facinto Swindell in the 56 goes from 10th to third for Sammy. Good to have him on board on the Flow Racing broadcast. So here we go, green flag comes out. A good start on the outside for the 5T car. Tim's gonna be the first one down into the corner, just kicking sod out over the fence, down into the pits. There's a big ripper around the outside. Comes the number 18, able to power into the number four spot from back in the field. Is Lauren Wolford, feeling a little feisty. Got some tummy on a buddy Kofoy. Kofoy down the inside, drives it up across the racetrack and looks for the outside cushion. And down the back, shooting that'll advance the 19A car, the 19A zero. However the heck he's being scored into the number four spot. Down turn number four, he comes. Walford shuffle back. We go fence post formation up front. Zero one car might be able to close on Walford and challenge Michael Mitchell Moles rather. And the zero one's got a little company on Colby Thornhill. The number 19, Thornhill looks down on the inside. Trying to drive up in there and just cannot make it happen. She's too lickety split around the top shelf. And now here comes Kofoy to run on the 13 car down the back straightaway. TK's got to get her moving. Kofoy on the attack, drives out, not going to get there in time. Falls back onto the heels of the number 13 car down in turn number one and two, but he's still right there pestering through the corners. They ramble through and look out, jumps the cushion. That'll cost him. We saw a car do that last night, whack the wall and capsize on the back stretch. And Zierfoss, I'm not sure he's here with us tonight. I think he is. I hope he is. But that wall sticks out there at kind of an aggressive angle, and you got to be careful coming out. Turn number two, Walford slow down the front straightaway. We're going to stay green on the racetrack, and it'll be two to go. That time by for your race leader, Tim's up front. Gary Taylor solid in the number two spot. And there's the caution flag. Unfortunately, afraid of smoking the 18 car down the corner, so that will bring out the caution step. So keep your eye on them. Maybe we got some of that talent out here in the field. Oh, that's a scramble. 15 car got dangerously close. I'm not sure what that was about for the 115. I'm sure the officials will discuss it. Meanwhile, up front, out and away goes Ryan Timms in the 5T. I talked about staying single foul. They did anything but that. Big slot job out of 01. He was shooting for the restrooms with that one. He's going to fall back two spots. That was a little bit too much of a haymaker down turn number three and four. So he got shuffled back through for Mitchell Moles. Up front, Timms, not missing a lick, takes a white flag. He'll lead him down into the corner. Gary Taylor, solid in the number two spot. TK and Buddy Kofoid, one, two, three, four on the field. Here comes the 19, driving off the top shelf. 
Now on the inside comes Thornhill, not able to make a move on the 115 car. Parker, checkered flag comes out, and that one goes into the books. Going to be Tim's, Taylor, Katie, Kofoid, your top four. Parker rounding out the top five. So set to go. Unleash the Hounds, heat race number three. Green flag is out. No! Three wide out of turn number four. Now to the corner. That got real close. Number eight car squeezed through. Contact one around. Caution flag coming out. Or not. We'll go with not. He's able to keep it rolling again. Stop. Play possum. There's the caution flag. At it. Well, we'll see how this one goes for us. We had a blender the last time. It's going to be a tempest in a teapot this time down at turn number one. There comes a power slide out of the seven Z cars. He works his way up through Zane Blanchard, who had started back in the field into the number four spot. As the eight cars on the hunt and on the prowl. Down into turn number three and four, looking around the outsides. Not going to get there on the 47 car. Davis quick holds him off, and here comes the eight down low again. Delvin takes a shot at him, and we'll go side by side, and Davis can't do anything about it. A little slip of the grip. He saw the back end step out from underneath the 47. He'll charge back down in, though, and try the intimidation maneuver. Didn't work out so well. He'll get shuffled back, and now the 7 seat car. Zane Blanchard's going to take a peeky poo at that third spot on the racetrack. Meanwhile, the back behind, coming from the tail, is the 1B, pedaling for all he's worth for Brenham Crouch. Crouch with a slider out across. Almost had Copeland picked off. He falls back in behind into sixth on the field. He'll take another run at him out turn number two and down the back straightaway. Boy, she is lickety split. If we wouldn't be in the desert, I'll guarantee you we've seen some vapor trails off these race cars because they are hauling the proverbial mail down into the corner. Here comes Copeland down low, making a run on Blanchard. Seven Z car able to get Scott A down the back straightaway. So we're under deep in the corner. Davis is off the pace. Look out, almost stacked up. Fourth, fifth, and sixth as they came through there. Now they move into third, fourth, and fifth, and we're going to have to go out and retrieve the 47 car. And some getrev.com. Get a video to tell them about it. Ah, it's the trifecta of awesome. Down into the corner goes number eight. No, oh, they're going to come together. That could have went horribly awry. They got away with one there. You never touch tires like that in an open-wheel car. We're going to try it again down in the corner. My goodness gracious, the gloves have come off on night number two of the Copper Classic. Settle ourselves down. Three wide out, turn number two and down the back straightaway. Here comes the 7Z car. Blanchard threading through the eye of the needle. He'll draw alongside just up across the nose and clip the whiskers on the five of Copeland. Copeland right back to the middle. Down on the inside, meanwhile, comes Brenham Crouch, the 1B car who had started tail of the field, just trying to get anything he can get. Down low, checkered flag coming out up front. We're still side by side back behind. Wowzers. Dylan Harris, Devin Borden, Zane Blanchard, one, two, three on the field. Colby Copeland and Brenham Crouch round out the top five. Enough. It's a little scrambled at the back. They finally find their way in order just as we throw the green flag on it. And here comes a rip around the outside. John Carney, the second up the third and into first straightaway. Get out of town. Does that thing have a throttle or a fuse? As he is powered down the back, shooting. Here comes Abreu trying to hold off the challenge to the outside. Tanner Carrick, the 83 T car, is going to come out ahead on that. Carney up the third. Caution flag coming out. That is pretty cool, though. It's got to be beautiful down there. Good weather. Here comes the green flag. Abreu better start that time. Down into turn number one and two for the number 24 car. It's going to pull out by three car lengths, and we're going to have a battle on our hands for third and fourth. Carney coming from back in the field. 0 1 X car down low. Gets around the number 12 car. He'll go into the number four spot with now seven laps to go. It's not quite the run he had earlier on. He had a little better start that first time. This time, not quite as aggressive for the 0 1 X car. Zabru charges down into the corner. So tough to run in that dirty air, and you're seeing Tanner Carrick fight with it now in the 83 T car. Tarek was able to do it on the initial start to Abreu. Abreu returns the favor as he drives off at turn number four and down the front straightaway. Meanwhile, challenge coming up for third. Two X cars got it. Chase Magic gonna have to try and hang on to his John Carney the second tries to hold him at, or run him down, I should say. Meanwhile, holding him at bay back behind is the battle between Noah Gas and the 20 G and Robbie Price and the 1X. The gas man, now the turn number four and down the front chutes. Didn't have the opportunity to talk to him down the pits earlier today. As a matter of fact, don't even know where they were pitted with the 20G car, but he heads down the back chute. For the young racer out of Mounds, Oklahoma. Looks solid out here as we're in freight train formation. Might have a battle for not last. It's Carrick still working a wheel back in the number two spot, trying to close, comes Magic into 2X. Chase out of four. 
Down the front shoot, shortens up his entrance into turn number one. That's where he's making up a little bit of time on the 83 T car. I don't know if it's going to be enough, however. As they race into turn number three and four, down the front straightaway yet again. Forget about Rico Abreu. He's got the white flag. As they say, the bit in his teeth, and he's headed for the barn. Down the back straightaway for the number 24 car. Rocket his way onto the front stretch. Checkered flag, and Abreu picks up the win in heat race number whatever we're on. Carrick will finish out second, the 83T. The two X car magic rounds out the top three. Carney and Gas. Kyle Larson, the outside 44 feature event wins on the season for Larson. Green flag, and here comes Larson around the outside. Up to second, and then to first. Down in the corner, can he get first? He might get first, he's not gonna get first. Not out turn number two, he tried it though. Almost able to get there in time. He'll try her down turn number three and four. Not going to be quick enough either. He'll fall back into the number two spot. The 41 car hangs on. Colton Hardy. Now they're whistling Dixie down into turn number one and two. Meanwhile, look at a cluster back behind. Holy hot mama. Had them all down on the inside in a little stair step formation. That was the entire rest of the field that was stacked up down there in about two square feet. And they race their way onto the front straightaway. 17 C car pokes out. Bullock come down here to Arizona for the first time, and I think he likes it as he gets himself into P3 on the field. Estenson now working on the 5K car back behind. Challenge is down low on Patrick. Rolling onto the front straightaway. The two car Pettis right there as well. As Alex able to advance a spot down into turn number one and two, your top two are still going at it. Kyle Larson's trying to come up with the game plan to get around Colton Hardy, and here he comes down low. 57 car drives around Hardy and takes the wind off his sails. Down into turn number three and four, and the 57 goes to the point. Slow one down into the infield. Caution flag coming out for Pettis. So watch Larson on his restart. Can't pass before the cone. Colton Hardy knows that. Here we go. The game is afoot. Down in turn one and two, Larson goes directly to the cushion. That end of the racetrack, Hardy down low to protect on the slide job. And Larson's got a ripper down into turn number three and four, up to the tail tank. Bring it across, it is now three laps to go that time by. Oliver able to get up into third, made a roof around the 17th seat. Look out, little bobble getting in, almost jumped the cushion down turn number one and two, now powers away from Bullock. and keeps him back in the number four spot. Down in turn number three and four, Larson's still trying to close. Uh, Colton Hardy. Hardy learned his lesson. He is down in the lane that Larson was running to get around him. Quick study is that number 41 cars. He brings it on to the front shoot. White flag comes out. One more trip around. Last shot for Kyle Larson at the top spot. Not going to get it though. Colton Hardy too good. Out of two and into turn number three and four. Larson, last ditch effort. It's going to fall a bit shy. Colton Hardy picks up the win. Larson will finish out second. Unfortunately, he had shown his hand. How about Jeff Oliver, the number 29 car from the tail of the field to finish out third for the Pendergrass Georgia racer. Got himself into the top 30. That's a fact, Jack. Here we go. Neto and Hickle. Going to work tops out of the racetrack. DJ Neto goes right through the middle. He got the memo from his uh, crew, apparently. Been watching the races. They said, hey, go to the middle and turn number one and two. And here comes a run out of the 19. Spencer Baston came to do battle. Oh, my. Blew around the number six car so fast it sucked him sideways for Jack Carney. Got her all crossed up in front of the field. Neto scramble everybody. Garrett Williamson trying to come from the back. 24 W cars there. Here comes Macedo down the inside. Makes a move on Carney down to turn number three and four. And onto the front shoot. Jet turns him back down low. And Macedo comes out ahead in a 21. Moves into the number four spot. Race leader up front. DJ Neto. JJ Hickle looking stout. The number 63 car. Spencer based it. Working the wheel down at turn number one and two. Got a nice entrance to that end of the racetrack. A little slip through the corner. Carson Macedo trying to track him down from fourth. Fifth on the fields, Williamson, a 24W car. Down into turn number three and four. We got a side-by-side -side battle back behind. And on to the front shoot. Here comes the 91. Chase gets making a move down low. Comes the call, and he'll touch tires ever so lately. Gets into the wall. Ricochets off and down into turn number three and four, and that's going to knock the shoes off of it. We're going to see a caution flag coming out for that one. Your fingertips. Here we go. Green flag coming out of the corner. Well, good start for Neto. Powers out, four car lengths out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. Hickel and the 19 of Baston still running one, two, three on the field. Here comes Carson Macedo. 
Lucido picking up a win late in the season in that black Tarleton and Sons number 21 car. Scott's company out of Williamson down the inside. Williamson from the tail picks off the 21. Macedo trying to cross him down low. Williamson trying to hold him off. Kept the door squeezed tight as the white flag comes out up front. And now drag race out of four. They give the nod to the 24 Williamson down in turn number one and two. Chunks his way onto the back straightaway. Macedo shuffle back now into fifth. Checkered flag up front. Neto's going to pick up the win. Hickel and Baston. One, two, three on the field. Spencer Baston started eighth on that little deal.